take a poem that you really like that you know someone else wrote and uh, just share it with everybody else. So that is that's also with the cards. <laughs> if uh, that speaks to you. Justifying ignorance. Um, it's just really about people uh, kind of rationalizing every situation that they find themselves in sometimes. Uh, being at the center, there was a lot of people who just would make it, we called them tactics, that's why I said tactics earlier, just the guy didn't want to play the guitar. Uh, <laughs> because uh, we all use them, it's just a matter of when and why. And Whatever. So, anyways, I wrote this thing called justifying ignorance. Uh, justifying ignorance, rationalizing opinion based off selfish beliefs, race, rig uh, religious standings, political bias, creed, or denomination, only perpetuates the stupidity that lurks beneath the skin. Not being able to understand that possible that possible captivation of a new idea can truly give a form of peace or bring new change of direction, is being close to the idea that we all learn, we all grow, and says I or we are in control. We are never in control. Control is a mirage. The only truth of control is Mother Nature. Mother Nature shows us disaster can strike, the sun is shining, the stars are in the sky, and the moon is bright. So if it rains, the only control we have is whether we get wet or not. So if I always have my umbrella, then I am choosing to be prepared rather than pretending I know the truth. So if God is my umbrella, then my power is the only control I have. And my higher power is the only control I have. So that's a justified I can read another one. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, or I can just go sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah? Whatever you want. Okay, okay, I'll read another one, I guess. Right. Uh, I don't really have a name for this one. Um, okay, uh, this one's kind of long. A motivating glare uh, cuts through my soul, creating a hole the size of a hair. I sit in silence, unsure the, the response to portray. So I gaze in private with a glance and words to say. Think in my head what it is being said, with the eyes of a raccoon bulging from my head. The savage grin, the savage grind of teeth and lack of mean is confusing to say the least. But the stable presence and septic patience is proving able exit. So to collect my things and move along or break the tension from the song, does it fix the cloud that surrounds the optical bout? Can we drown the quiet and let it out? Is a mouth to tell the secret between the ears and behind the eyes? Should one shout with regret what's on my mind and make it clear? Does change occur when anger is spread to a mirror? We are all deranged when danger is more present than weird. So to conclude, the rest of which was rude, to test and show the ones who lose, what would come forth? If the more you had to prove, life's as complicated as a rat without a path. So I'll paint a picture of what it, what it is that's had. Vibrant, gr vibrant red and green across the map. I see the trees the size of glad. Windblown leaves and which were never sad. The furthermore a storm begins to fix. Scary dust and a cyclone of fists. I look, along, I look along the side to find a place to hide, only to discover why more is shy. A small heart the size of a dime fits in the palm of a child left inside. 
why try to get the tingle tangled that throws us for a loop, that stirs our thoughts and turns up us into soup. People never understand until they walk our shoes. But it's not up to me to tell you what to do, because one day we will have to, we will have to, we will all have to choose. A butterfly in the middle of the sky finally tells me why a princess makes me shy, because I see the beauty in front of my eyes. It fills, it fills me full of goosebumps and, and kryptonite. I'd love to grow old with a water sign, but sometimes, but something tells me the tr that tells me true love is too hard to find, especially when it comes from a mind the opposite of mine.